it? Can we get it? Hey! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust, and we are talking about that Rust console edition, the pre-order beta for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One and the next gens as well. And this is the update going over the what is a wipe, when is the wipe, what are the patches looking like, what is the stability, and what was the hotfix that happened today, and what was the major update that happened yesterday, which was, let's just talk in terms of days, uh, Wednesday, today uh, being a hotfix Thursday, <laughs> so let's get that, let's get that set there. Okay, and we're going to go over how to jump into this pre-order beta if you are looking to do so. So, uh, yes, at any moment, if you do find this useful and helpful, be sure to drop a like. It really does help out a lot. And if you are into it and would like to get the most up-to-date information, news around Rust, and also gameplay, because we do play this game quite a bit, consider dropping a subscribe and turning on that notification bell. Okay, so uh, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, which was Wednesday, we had a major patch, which was our 102 patch that we have been looking for. We thought the Sunday patch previously was our major patch, but that was a hot fix, and that hot fix caused a lot of issues across the platform. Some people were unable to play. So I'm here to tell you that the May 5th update has seemed to fix that for most people. There's still some issues we're dealing with, but overall, we've had a lot of things come back to normalcy. <coughs> and we've been playing it quite a bit, so I can tell you it's been a lot of fun. Okay, one of the major, major things that have come back, major things which was in the limited beta, which is now returned to the pre-order beta, we now have uh, auto run. So um, I do have uh, both head turning and auto run configuration for both PlayStation and Xbox. I'll link that video now in the upper right hand corner. If you want to go check that out, how to head turn, how to do inventory management while you're running on console. Again, PlayStation and Xbox, it's really good because we get that question a lot. I think it's, dare I say, essential. Anyways, um, so that's been good. Auto run is now back in as of 102. Just know the versioning that's happening there is not necessarily the menu versioning that you'll see on either PlayStation or Xbox. That was a little confusing for us as well. That's kind of why we thought 102 was in when it wasn't. So we've got a lot of those stability changes. Good, good news. Okay, a lot of things to go through here. All right. So the pre-order beta was scheduled to end on Thursday, uh, May 6th. That has been extended till till um geez, <laughs> till May 14th. So we have an additional week on top of that. And then if you've got obviously the deluxe or ultimate edition, you will have access for this uh, up until the 14th clearly. And then it's only a four day darkness period before this goes to full release, which is um um May 18th. Did I get that right? And if you bought the standard version, which is the $50 version, that will start on May 21st. So again, if you're trying to get into the pre-order beta, you can still do so by purchasing the uh, Deluxe or Ultimate Edition for either PlayStation or Xbox. It doesn't matter, either one. I'm going to say this one's, uh, I'm sorry, Deluxe is $60 USD and the Ultimate is $80 USD. Really, the only difference is there's this is heavier on skins and more coins. If you want to have all that early access and pre-order beta, a lot of cool skins and stuff. Boom, deluxe. Sixty dollars USD. You're all set. Okay, so if you want to get in, make the purchase. Then on the same account that you use for the purchase, search for after you've downloaded and purchased, search for Rust Pre-order Beta, and that's how you get in. It's based off of the account that you made the purchase from. Uh, and if you do have the limited beta from prior, um, delete that because I know on some systems there were some issues. So I want to make sure that people are able to get in and play. All right. Let's see. I feel like I'm missing something. All right. So we've got the extension, and we've got the major fix. Auto running has been fixed. A lot of the crashing has been fixed. Uh, obviously, there's still some issues. Voice chat is currently not working, or it's been turned off. One of the two. So you have to use those respective parties uh, inside PlayStation or Xbox. Although the in-game uh, gesture menu or the, uh, what do they call it, quick chat? Like the pre-canned messages, those do work quite well. We've actually used those quite a few times during some heated moments, and it, it has worked. Uh, so a lot of the falling through the map issues have been resolved. And let's see, so May, I'm trying to do this by days or dates, so it's not so confusing if somebody watches this later. May 6th, there was a hotfix that came in, and it should help with desync issues. 
Uh, maybe that's the sputtering that goes on uh, occasionally while you're playing. We didn't actually experience desync in the terms of like Daisy, where things are out of whack, out of whack. So um, we'll have to play that out and see how that's going. We are actively playing this heavily, have been for the entire duration. Uh, so if you want to watch either one of us, uh, be sure to check out myself, Jade Monkey, Razor Tube, or BioLaser. We are the Boyfriend Squad. Uh, again, we're doing videos. We're doing lots of live streams and stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're a new player, did I already say this? I don't know if I did. Well, if I did, here it goes. If you're, if you're a new player and you're looking for ways to get started, how to do the monuments, how to do a base, how to build a base, how to raid a base, or even some basic base designs, check out my Rust Guides playlist. I will link it now in the upper right-hand corner. So go check that out. It's very good. I'm going to take a swig of the old tactical cylinder. I'm drying up. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's much better. Woo. Okay. Let's see. So now, if you are wondering, there is another wipe. What is the wipe? What's a hard wipe? What's a soft wipe? So if you are playing this now, again, it has been extended till May 14th. So we will experience a wipe on Friday. I know the game is saying... Well, I guess technically for some it is happening today, which is May 6th. So what does that mean? Okay, so if you're watching this and your server hasn't wiped, it's going to happen Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is what's called a soft wipe. You keep your BPs and everything else goes away, if that makes sense. So the board clears, your items clear, everything. But you keep your blueprint knowledge. So you still have a solid day to get into a new server and learn some basic BPs before the wipe. Do it. There's tons of decayed bases. We do it all the time. We've done it live on stream. You'll love it. It's worth it. Do it. It's awesome. All right. So we've got the wipe going on. Hard wipes are not going to happen during the entire beta. Let's see. I feel like I'm forgetting something major again. I think that's most of it. Okay. So we did have that performance or hot patch come in today. Again, we talked about that with desync. We'll basically see what that looks like. Um, the auto run is in. Um, Series X had a lot of input lag before, but that that's pretty much been cleared up entirely. I had, we didn't feel any ever since. Uh, if you are interested in aim assist, there are aim assist specific servers, but that's not the default for this game. It does not have aim assist. Uh, but there are aim assist servers if you are interested in that. Let's see, they did add, I don't know what they're calling it, but they're, um, they're accelerated servers. Okay, let me just describe some of the presets and it'll be in the name. They're 3x servers and they wipe daily. So it's a bit like super fast paced, more PVP centric. I think that's kind of cool. So if you're kind of waiting for a, a like a wipe or something, could be a cool place to go and just, you know, clap cheeks and see what happens. Uh, again, that'll be in the server list. And I think that's the majority of it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, yeah, I, I believe that's it. All right, so yeah, we got the Rust guides, you got the controller stuff, which is huge. I guess if you're looking for a good way to get scrap, I do have a scrap guide. I'll go ahead and link that now in the upper right hand corner. If you want to go check that out. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for this one. Sorry, I totally blanked out. I feel like I'm missing something. Well, I mean, I guess we'll find out. Just come over to the live stream or the next video down in the comments in this video if you'd like. Ask some questions. I do read through those. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next live stream slash video. And uh, I'm out of here. This is probably the last shoot we're going to do in this set before the hard wipe on the PC. Oh yeah, Twitch drops, I think, Thursday? If you're if you have a Steam account and Twitch, by the way, real quick, um, you can get those. I don't know if they convert over to the console version, but again, free skins, cool creators, check them out. Good stuff. <gasps> okay, bye.